Hi and welcome to the Thrunite channel. So today I wanted to feature this Thrunite TT20. This is one of my favorite lights that Thrunite offers. Ton of power, a pretty small package here. This light is running on a 21700 lithium ion battery. I'll give you a quick shot of that. Unscrew the tail cap here. You can see 5000 milliamp hour, 21700. Now this is a rechargeable light. The charging port is on the back of the head right there. And this does take a type C charging cable, which is very nice because it is a faster charging method. Now this is the red model, which is a beautiful, very brilliant red color. This is also offered in a couple different colors. The price on these, the colored versions are $75. Or if you want to save a little bit of money, the regular standard black version is about $70. Now this flashlight is running on a SST70 LED. So take a close look at the head right there. You can see a very smooth reflector, okay, which aids in focusing that beam for throw. Now this light is pumping out a very impressive 2,526 lumens on turbo. All right, so much light that the uh, camera here has a hard time focusing. All right, so let's <laughs> shut the light off. It takes a second to, uh, to adjust. Um, very simple UI on this flashlight. There is a switch on the back and a switch on the side. The switch on the back is just for your full turbo mode. All right, so all you have to do is half press for momentary on. All right, you can let go when you're done using the light or you can just click it on for constant on. You can see there is a battery indicator on the side of the light, which is blue. That's showing us that uh, our flashlight is fully charged up. Now the side button here is for um, ramping, all right? So changing the different modes. So if you just wanna grab it and have all the light possible, you just use the reverse switch that's on the back. Uh, it's very easy for tactical purposes as well to have that uh, you know, reverse grip like this. Now the side button is for changing the different modes. Push that once to turn it on. You push and hold and it's going to ramp. So right now it's ramping up. At any point you can just let go and it'll stop on that mode. And it does have mode memory. Okay, so turning that back on to turbo. When I shut it off, if I turn this side button back on, it goes to where uh, I had it. So push and hold, it's gonna ramp all the way down. It'll blink when it's all the way down. And same thing, you can ramp all the way back up. Now it's in the low mode. So let's ramp all the way back up to the high. All right, if the high is still not enough, again, you can hit that back button and go right to the turbo. But it is nice that it has that mode memory. I'm actually going to change this to the low mode, which is what I personally prefer. I prefer the side button to be the lowest mode that's on here. All right, so when I just want a little bit of light, I'll just hit the side button. Or if I just want that max turbo, I'll hit the back button there. Now there's also a strobe mode that is in the side switch here. If you hit that three times, it'll turn on strobe. I just want to give a quick warning to anyone out there who might have uh, epilepsy or some kind of issue with flashing lights. I am going to be showing strobe, so it will flash. All right, so you might want to skip ahead in the video if that's something that's going to be disturbing. But here we go, three times, one, two, three, and there's the strobe mode. All right, pretty simple. Now the output when you're ramping could be as low as 31 lumens all the way up to 1468 lumens. The firefly mode on this is also a half a lumen, all right? So if you push and hold, you can see we have Firefly mode, okay, which has a ridiculous runtime. Now in the past, I've tested Firefly mode on multiple different through night flashlights and they've lasted for months on various different batteries. So very uh, impressive to have extremely low mode for emergency purposes for such a long uh, duration of time. Um, the strobe mode on here is gonna be 1294 lumens. So I'm gonna go outside for just a moment here to show you exactly how bright that 2526 lumen output is on turbo mode. All right, so I got the Thrunite TT20 out here. This one is a beast of a light. I'm doing a little demo on a two car garage about 25 feet away. Let's go ahead and click this on. Now it's interesting is uh, the camera picks up light a little bit different than the human eye. So what you guys are seeing here looks like a very concentrated hot spot in the middle, but in person, it's actually a very smooth transition. I'm not seeing a distinctive circle uh, in person here as compared to what the camera's showing. But it is lighting up the entire front of this garage. Go ahead and go up and down. So you can see that spill. All right, coming off the edge of the light. So it's a very, very large circle. All right, come down. And then we will go left and right. So you can see how it actually dimmed down a little bit. 
to one level lower. All right, so uh, some other features here. We do have a removable two-way pocket clip, which is very nice. So you can clip it this way, or you can clip it the other direction. All right, and as I mentioned, it is removable. Just pops off the light. Now the bottom of the light here, you can see that it is hooded on both sides. There are holes, so you can attach a lanyard to there if you wanted to. But the purpose of this is so that you can tail stand this light. And this is a fantastic feature that I personally value, especially for survival, especially for uh, you know any kind of emergency situation where you're going to lose power. Uh, by tail standing a light like this, especially one this bright, um, it can illuminate an entire room just by bouncing light off the ceiling. All right, so it's a nice feature there. Also prevents that button from accidentally uh, being hit and the light going on when you don't intend it to. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the Thrunite TT20. Thrunite gives away flashlights all the time. If you want to participate, all you have to do is comment on these videos as well as subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.